Rolling. Is it on video? You're on video. Are you sure? I'm sure. Positive? Positive. You got it? Got it. You're not on there right now because you're coming to check it out to see if I'm doing it. If you were stop making Rude. mistakes, I wouldn't have to come over there. I don't make things. mistakes. I'm perfect or near perfect. Well, you're almost to my level then. Oh, well. way beyond your level. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. I'm your host, Chef Hardy, Big Body, behind the camera, and giving her own commentary is my wife. Itty bitty sweet and pretty. Hi. Today, we have from her special request, bread pudding. Yes. Now, you're wondering, if you're not from the deep south, what is bread pudding? Well, you take bread, and you got pudding. And you put them together, and you got bread pudding. Simple dish, easy. First off, you need bread. We use French bread here. It is shredded apart, and make sure it is stale bread. You can't use fresh bread. Buy your bread, go ahead and rip it up, and leave it out a day or two. Let it get all stale. The more stale it is, the more it's gonna soak up all this liquid. This was the dollar French bread from Walmart. Exactly, that's all it was. Cheap as can be. It's a cheap meal to make, actually. Not meal, but some dessert. Then you have a cup and a half of sugar. Then we'll add some cinnamon. Then we have vanilla extract. Then you have your eggs and milk. That's all it takes to make bread pudding. But you can do bread pudding in many ways. Today we're using apples. We are going full. Wait, wait. Yeah. Will you stop it? I, you can't eat everything I try to cook. You can't. I have to cook the whole thing. Then you can eat it. But we're making apple pie bread pudding. It doesn't get much better than that, folks. It doesn't get much better. What we have right here is eight eggs that I have beaten up. They are all beaded and they are ready to go. We're going to add some sugar to it. It's a cup and a half of sugar. You can make it with sugar substitutes. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Vanilla extract. You can buy whole bean if you're a big baller, got them big old coins, you can do it. Just one bean is going to be like eight bucks. Or you can buy vanilla extract. We're just going to do a little splashy splash. Splash, splash. Oh, there oh, we go. That's and I need another vanilla. splash for that one. Uh, I don't, don't want to add too much. I want to have too much vanilla because we're going to add something vanilla later. We um, have that. You're no fun. How could you say that to me? All right, we have mixed in our vanilla. Where we going? Oh, going back whoops, here. Whoops. Now, it's time to get dirty. We're going to take our bread and throw it in this bowl. Oh, bread is so delicious. I need a bigger mixing bowl is what I need. Uh-oh. We're going to mix that all in. We're not going to smash down the bread. We're just going to get all the bread wet. You just don't want to smash down the bread. Just kind of fold it over in there. Get all that incorporated. We've in talked about playing with our food sometimes. Well, this is... Oh, oops, I'm not clean that later. But anyway, this is smashing the bread down. i oh, take the rest of the bread. I'm going to throw it all in here. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. It's just a beautiful chunk of bread. Ah, oh, definitely need a bigger bowl. Get you the biggest bowl you can get. It's just a medium mixing bowl. You might have to get the large for this. But all this is, is just one whole loaf of French bread that's been stale. Mixed all together. Oh, incorporated all that good old custard in the bottom filled with sugars and all that goodness. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What we're gonna do now, now they got all that corporate, we're going to wash our hands and we're going to grease our pan. Got to grease your pan. Don't want nothing sticking. You want that good crust on there, but you don't want it to stick where you can't peel the crust off of the pan. So we'll be right back after I wash my hands and get ready. Ready? Rolling. All right. We're going to grease our pan with just a stick of butter. Not going to use a whole stick. Just going to go around the sides. Get you a 9 by 13, 9 by 12, or if you want to go big, go big. Make sure it's a high wall because this has eight eggs in it, meaning it's going to rise up. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to rise up. It's going to rise up and say, April, eat me. 
Oh, it's gonna be glorious. Just beautiful. All right, we have greased our pan. Then we're gonna take our lovely mixture. I'm gonna just throw it in here. Oh, got all the egg incorporated in there. Oh, yes. I massage it down. Yes, try not to smash. You're just kind of incorporating all the uh, flavor, the sugars, and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Spread it on out. Rinse off the hands. Nasty egginess. All right. We're going to add some melted butter, just one stick of butter. Butter makes it all so right. Yeah. Stick butter. Gotta have cinnamon. It's apple pie. Gotta have cinnamon. Add you some cinnamon. I'd say about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Apples. Yes. Can't have my apples. Just a whole bunch of cut up fresh Granny Smith apples. Tarty. Nice tart. Apple's gonna get off some moisture in here while it's cooking. And it's not fall unless you add some chopped pecans. Not pecans. Pecans. Yes. Not pecan. Not pecan. Pecan. Say it with it. Pe pecan. Pecans. Pecan is what they used to use on the side of their bed late at night so they didn't have to go out to the outhouse. That was their pecan. We don't say pecan down here in the south. We say pecan. Lastly, milk. You ask how much milk you had. I have no idea. <laughs> we, we, we don't measure this out here. You just slowly pour the milk in. You don't want it to pour so much where it looks like a soup. But just, oh. Glorious. Take our hand. We'll mix that up a little bit more. And you're asking, how is this going to make something so spectacular? Well, I'm telling you, it will. It'll be glorious when it comes out of that oven and when we put that top on there. It's going to crust up. Beautiful. Get that bread to soak in all that milk. All right, if you look closely, you're not trying to make a soup. But you're just trying to get all the bread to soak in that milk. See how it's not too runny? But you just want to make sure you have enough to soak it in. I think the normal recipe calls for like four cups. I don't even think we use that much yet. We'll add a little bit more. Beautimus. Right. Press that down all the way around. We are buttered. We are set. Got good apple chunks in there. It's going to give off a little extra moisture. And we are set, baby. We are set to go. Now, what you can do with this top right here, you can sprinkle just a little bit more sugar on top, a little bit more cinnamon. And we'll stick in the oven. We'll see you soon at the oven. Yes, there's a red light flashing. Once again, we went through a process and she wasn't filming. And then she, you heard her earlier, the first little film that, you know, I was making sure she was filming. Are you filming? Are you sure? It's just, it's hard to work with amateurs. It's just so hard. Anyway, we got our nice. We shall talk about this later. I am the man of this <laughs> With your permission, you can come back Anyway, we have our bread put in. We're sprinkling a little bit more cinnamon, a little more sugar. We got our oven set at 350 degrees. We're going to stick it in the center rack. And we're going to let her bake and bubble and get all the deliciousness for one hour. One hour, folks. 
We got to wait. It's going to be hard. Set your time for one hour. It's going to rise up above the pan. It's going to build that crunch. And then we're going to make a sauce to go with it. And then we're going to pour that sauce on top when we cut our wedge out. It's going to be delicious. You don't want to miss it. You better stay tuned. You don't want to miss the finale. See you soon. Oh, hey. We rolling? Is it flashing? Four, five, six, seven. All right, eight. welcome back, folks, to our bread pudding. Our apple pie bread pudding. It has been an hour, and we're going to pull this back. Where's out. your hat? It, it, it's on the table. Hmm, you should have brushed your hair. My hair is fine. It looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and big. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this. No. no, I will edit that. Okay. You. Sauce. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a sauce. She keeps messing up, pressing a button because she keeps grabbing for her spoon. When I told her we have to make this sauce first, and so this is take number four. I'm tired of putting that thing in and taking it out of the oven. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it. All right. Now, sauce. We're doing sauce, Dad. Get, get stop being sad. Sauce. All right. On our sauce, what we're making is a sweet sauce. Now, if you put ice cream on that, it's gonna melt so fast you can't even really enjoy the ice cream on it. So we're gonna make a cream angeline sauce. And that is French for sweet sauce with cream. And so all that consists of is heavy whipping cream, <clears throat> egg yolk, sugar, and vanilla. And we're gonna mix that all together. And what does that make? When you freeze it, it makes ice cream. So we're going to take ice cream <laughs> and melt it down. It's the same thing. So we're going to get our little pot hot. Now we're going to add a little Blue bell, though. Blue bell. Blue bell. We're going to add a little love to this. Now this in every southern kitchen or every southern home, you're going to find a little bit of this. This is made for cooking. This bottle is about a year old, made for cooking, or it's made for making hotty toddy. So we're going to add a little bit of that right there. And we're going to light that yeah. on fire. <laughs> yes, <laughs> That's a fire. You got to warn me. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. We're going to flambe that. As I said, all this. And I'm insured, guys. All this right here is made. I pulled the muscle on that. We use bourbon or whiskey all for our hotty toddies here in the south. And hotty toddies work fantastic. We're burning all that alcohol off. That's all that flame. We don't like alcohol. No, but we want to get down to the rich caramel taste is what we're looking for. Oh, oh I'm standing way back over here. Yeah. I love her. Where's my hazmat suit? Alright, it's done. No more alcohol. Alcohol is burnt off. It's just, just trying to be prepared. Good to go. Now we're going to get down to that rich caramel flavor. Oh, that smells good. Now we're going to add our beautiful cream d'Angeline to this, which <laughs> is ice cream. <laughs> if, you, if you make that sauce and you freeze it, it's ice cream base is all it is. <laughs> so bad. Your reaction of that fire was hilarious, by the way. Oh, I aim to please. You aim to kill me. Well, if you record correctly and stop reaching with your dang old spoon, we I don't know. get paid except with food. That is a payment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we need a little bit more ice cream there. Well, you want the whole tub? I want a, a spoonful. That's why I had my spoon out. No, you had your spoon because you were trying to get into the bread pudding. Don't you lie because we on... I was going to get both. That's not a lie. On the camera. Now you're going to lie about it, huh? Now you put the ice cream back in the freezer. You want to make more sauce? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right. Just clean up my mess. Back on the heat. And all we're going to do is just melt this in. And... This is going to create a beautiful little sauce. Nothing need be added to it. It's already there. 
All we're gonna do is mount this. I'm gonna cut out her own wedge of it. Well, a hunk. A hunk. She, she wants a hunk. And then once we get that hunk on the little ball, I'm gonna sauce it up and you'll see the finished product. Stay tuned, it's exciting. It's as fire up in this kitchen. This is my bruise you know, from the fire incident. He <laughs> bruised me. <laughs> bruised me. It see, it's forming. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Our sauce is made, as you can see. Beautiful. Oh, that's still hot right there. Look at the steam coming off of that. All we're going to do is just pour that beauty. Ooh. Oh, oh, just magnificent. Well, there she is right there. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. New Orleans style bread pudding with her own twist. Apple pie is fall apple pie bread pudding. It's going to be delicious. She's about to take a bite of it because she can't help herself. Please like us. Subscribe. We love you. Leave a comment. We got more coming. Enjoy. Mm. How's that? Yummy. How is that? Yummy. Oh.